Hello everyone, it's Victoria and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be using the James Charles Morphe palette to get ready for work. I feel like this is going to be pretty difficult because the James Charles palette is super bold. Like it's meant to be used for the craziest combinations and craziest, most artistic things. But I'm going to see if I can create something that'll be perfect for work and have just a little bit of a pop, but majorly neutral. So let's start off by putting our hair up. vibes going on. We got Rosie the Riveter vibes going on, except this is green and not red, but it's okay. It's still cute. So how I always start my makeup off is I do my brows first. So we're going to go in with the e.l.f. brow pencil first, and we're just going to fill everything in. because we're going to clean it up with concealer. So just brush what you put in right out. Then I'm gonna take a brow pencil and then the Forever 21 brow palette. I don't think you can buy this anymore, but I still use it every single day because it's a perfect color match to what my brows actually are. in light 15. You can use a more pointed brush for this as well, but I like to put it on just with the sponge it comes with. Now take a more precise beauty blender and just blend that out. super fast natural brows because we're going to work and we don't have an hour to do our makeup so let's move on to the next step which is our eyeshadow we have already have a base for this through the concealer so let's just put some powder on top of the concealer so everything will blend smoothly for this makeup look I'll be using airspun's translucent extra coverage I've been using this for like two years now and it is my go-to it works super well and it's like five dollars Right, let's bring out the palette. So as you've likely heard, this is the official James Charles palette. So let's take it out. It's got a signature, it's Morphe. And here it is in all of its glory. It's super pretty, it's super bold. It's the best multicolored like shade range palette that I've ever seen. You can get rainbow pride looks from this. You can get all you want really. There is just so much of a range and a variety of mattes 
and shimmers that you could play with this all day. Today I was hoping to incorporate a little bit of this red here. Um, I think that is a beautiful color. Also, red is really hard to achieve in palettes. Um, it's a really hard pigment to get. I don't want it to look like a Valentine's look, but let's just see what I come up with. I'm going to first go into the shade Punch Me right here, and then we're going to go into the transitional shade. orange is called Code James and I think it's going to work great to start transition shades into the more deep reds. So let's just work that into the crease again like the last one before focusing more on the outer edges. drawn towards more warm orangey shades so this is perfect so far now we're gonna go into the shade rusted right above the color that we're really looking to incorporate into this look so this is going to be perfect and then we can go into your kidding which is right below it. this is such a beautiful color like I can't wait to incorporate this into the look so let's put it on even deeper into our creases Oh my gosh, this is so, this is so bright. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just have to be a little careful with this because the other ones, they blended really well, but they weren't like super highly pigmented. But this one, I think it being a really orangey color, just pops. So we have to be very careful with this color. So I dabbed it right on where I want to blend it out, but let's go into a clean brush and start working that in. What we have going on right now is gorgeous but we have to now go to the red shade called you're kidding and this is going to just draw away from all of the oranges and get into the pinkier reds this pigment is gorgeous but we need to make sure that there's no fallout that is what i'm worried about so let's put this on again in the far outer creases and blend that in with the oranges I was 
was debating on what would be best for the lid because there's so many good options here and I tend to go with the shimmer for the lid. There's a bunch of oranges, there's some really dark maroons, but I think I'm gonna go in with So Good, which is this gold shimmer here. I find it just to be really beautiful. Let's grab a more flat brush and go right into So Good and put it right over the lid. So this definitely came out pretty, but what I'm realizing is this shade is not necessarily blending evenly. Um, I think when we're, I think when you're packing it on, maybe just use concealer to prime and then don't put any powder over it. I think if you use something more sticky, it's going to go on a lot easier and it's going to go on a lot more evenly. All right, so let's go into NYX Waterproof Liner and just get that really awesome wing that we are looking for. I've used this for over six months and I tend to really, really like this one and it's really cheap as well. So, let's get to it. So I get a lot of questions on how I do my eyeliner so fast, and in all honesty, it's just practice makes perfect. That's all I can say. Um, you learn just to how to steady your hand, you learn how heavy you should place the felt tip, it's just something that takes years of practice. I do one sweep to the outer corner of my eye, then I do one sweep across my lid, and then I fill it in and just sharpen that outer wing. Okay, for the lower lash line, we're gonna go back into Code James and start on the outer corners. Ah! Oh my god, I touched my eyeball. Oh, that's the weirdest feeling ever. Let's also go back into your kidding. And I want to put that under the lash line too because I really want that red to show. Some people are so afraid of like lash curlers, but I think it's just the fact that I've been using them since like, I've been trying to use them since like middle school, so I'm just used to it now. But definitely, I have had lashes ripped out by these contraptions and it's not fun and then this is my favorite mascara in the world and it's a drugstore mascara you might have seen it before but this is covergirl's lash blast mascara and there is nothing like it nothing in the world this is awesome it creates volume it makes your lashes long and dark and it's not messy it's it's just so good. Like just go to just go to the store now and buy it. Like I swear, just try it. And for foundation, we're gonna go in with Maybelline's Super Stay Foundation in Classic Ivory. That's 120. And yes, I accidentally um painted my nails brown, but it turned out gray. So if you were wondering why my nails are gray, um, have you ever tried gray nail polish? Because this is my first time.
never forget putting your foundation down your neck because I can see your line on your chin and jaw, girl. I can. Just a little bit of concealer. I don't need too much. My foundation is like really full coverage. So, just a little bit. Now let's bake everything in Aerospun so it stays nice and all together. It's really hot in Texas, so I definitely sweat a lot, so this is always a good thing to use in your makeup. Setting powder will just keep things looking fresh, everything together. The oils won't separate your liquid makeup. Now let's not go too heavy on the face makeup. I think we're just gonna do a little bit of bronzer, just a little bit of blush and some highlight, of course, um, because we don't want all the attention to be on our face. We want it to be on our eyes because that's what we worked on. That's what we worked on for so long. This is my very used Physicians Formula Bronzer. Uh, it's also a drugstore product, so it's cheap. We also have Anastasia Beverly Hills Brush in Exotic, that middle pink right there. the Maybelline strobe stick. Put the strobe stick basically anywhere that you want to highlight, just like any other, any powder highlight. And now we need to choose what we're gonna put on our lips. So remember that this is like a me getting ready for work thing with y'all, and a bold red lip I'd love to do, but that's just not gonna cut it. Recently I've been loving the Tarte Lip Paints and they stay on so long and they come in amazing gorgeous matte colors. So let's try this one. This shade is Rosé and it's really similar to my natural color. So this isn't going to be anything that's too bold or crazy. Rosé is going to be that perfect shade for work where it looks amazing and it brings attention to the eyes because it's more natural and nude. And I'm going to top it off with Philosophy's Fresh Cream Gloss. Just put a little in the center. We love gloss in the summer. The sunlight will just reflect off of it and your highlighter as well. Make that highlighter bomb because the more shine in your makeup, the more reflecting it's going to get from when you're outside. And we just love that. Like, I want all the shine I can get. And I'll be back in a second because I'm going to put on lashes. And here is our finish to get ready with me for a work look. I honestly think the red works really well with my work attire, which is red. I love it because it's fun, it's bold, it's flirty, but it's not too much. We don't have a really big bold red or a strong colored lip, but we have this beautiful gloss. We have a cat eye that is eye catching, but nothing that's too much. If you like this look, give a big thumbs up down below, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video.